I'd like to call this meeting to order. This is the Pownal School District warning. As you will remember, we have a number of different articles to vote on, and then we have a number of articles that will be voted on tomorrow through Australian battle. The articles, we have five of them to vote on, starting with Article 1. To hear the reports of the school board and other officials of the district and take action thereon. I just need a motion in the second so we can move ahead with this. So moved. In a second? We have a second. Any discussion? All in favor, simply signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Pass. Article 2. To establish the annual salaries of the school directors at $1,200 each. Have a motion uh, to set that? Thank you, Ray. Do we have anybody else with? Uh, <laughs> very good. We have a second. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. aye. Abstentions? Thank you. It passes. Article 3 to authorize the school board acting on behalf of the district to borrow money by the issuance of interest bearing notes not to exceed the anticipated revenue for the school year. Once again, we have a second. Ronnie, thank you. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Passes. Article 4, to hold a public informational meeting on articles to be voted on by Australian ballot on March 4th, 2014. Thank you. Do you have a second? Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. And Article 5, to transact any other business found proper when met. Once again, oh, somebody. <laughs> Ray, do you have a second? I'll second. Thank you very much. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, abstentions, very good. Now we have uh, five different articles, and I will read them. Um, legal voters of the Pownal School District are hereby warned through a meeting on Tuesday, March 4th, 2014, at the Pownal Central Firehouse, when the polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m transact business by Australian ballot as shown. These next these next artic, next articles, excuse me, will give anybody in the audience a chance to ask questions and we have members of the of the school board here who will be able to answer them. Article A to elect the legal voters of the district a moderator for the term of one year beginning immediately. Article B to elect from the legal <coughs> voters of District 1 School Board Director for a term of three years beginning immediately. Article C, to elect from the legal voters of the district two school board directors, each for the term of one year beginning immediately. Article D, shall the voters of the Pownal School, Pownal Town School District raise $35,000 by taxes to be paid to the school bus sinking fund duration during the 2014-15 fiscal year. Would you like to speak to that? Move on. Shall the voters of the of Pownal Town School District appropriate $4,662,000 $737 necessary for the support its schools for the year beginning July 4th, 2014. I would ask uh, Jim Kosas, who is uh, who works for the central office, very briefly to go over that budget and what that budget entails in terms of the taxes that we all will be uh, that we all will be paying. And I think it's important for people to understand where the increase comes from. Jim? 
First of all, thank you very much um, to, for the board. I'd like to thank you for allowing me to work with you to really come up with this nice budget. Unfortunately, the bottom line um, for the taxes isn't as good as how hard they worked with coming up with a, a low budget. Um, if you look on page 15, you will see that with their hard work and with um, the principal, they are only increasing the budget 3.73%. Um, that's a very small amount. It's a very nice school here. We have some students that have gone on to other colleges or have gone on to colleges and some great um, jobs because of their experience here. What has happened this year is that the state has imposed an increase in their taxes that they have um, passed down to all the taxpayers because they are having a problem up in the state trying to come up with monies to educate or to um, fund all the schools. And right away, you've probably read in the paper that the state increased the state base amount from 94 cents up to a dollar one. That alone, right off the bat, if we used last year's budget, created a seven cent increase in our tax rate with no increase in the spending. And um, the reasons for that was a nice little bulletin that um, I got from Bill Bozzo that the um, Joint Fiscal Office put together just saying that they've got certain projects or certain items up there that they just can't contribute money to the education fund anymore. So they have to rely on new people to come up with this money over and above what the budget might go up. So I've gone a little, I've done a little analysis and right off the bat, the tax rate will go up to seven cents because of the state. The CLA, which is equalizing everyone's valuation on their house, decreased the tax one cent because our houses supposedly are assessed about four percent higher than what the state average if they average it out with the rest of the, all the other assessments in the state. Another problem that we occurred here in the school is that our equalized pupils decreased which means the state now is saying that your cost of educating one student is going to have to increase um, and spread out. Education spending from the budget alone is adding two cents. The budget, I mean, the total tax rate is going up 10 cents. And from what I can see, that 10 cents is about a 6.8% increase in the tax rate. But I wanted to stress, and the board wanted to stress, that a 3.7% increase in the budget only created a two cent tax rate increase, and the rest of it is coming from the state, mandated by the state. Thank you. Questions? Questions? Um, yeah, I think everybody can no, hear me. Nelson. Everybody can hear me. Can you tell me what that 3.73% was? I think that, is it health insurance and stuff like that? The reason for going up or what? Well, it's a combination of health insurance, um, health insurance, contra contractual events because the, um, the teachers are each on a um, contract for a period of time. I think our contract is a contract that's coming up next year. So we're at the point of re we're going to have negotiations again with the teachers. Um, there is um, some costs always associated with special education, and um, but a majority of it is um, salaries and insurance benefits that we have really, other than cutting a teacher, um, we have no really choice but to contract says. I, I think it's important for, to realize that a lot of the expense in terms of the school budget is directly connected with state mandates, in particular with special education, which the school board really has no uh, control over. The state mandates what you have to do if a child is qualified for special needs. And unfortunately, those children that qualify for that special needs, the number of those children that qualify continues to grow. And that burden is placed upon all of us. It's a necessity, it's something we should do, but it's also important for you to realize that it is a mandated expense that we have no control over, the school board has no control over. Are there any other questions concerning the budget or anything involving the school system? One last thing I really wanted to bring to everyone's attention, and, and I'm not sure um, who's involved, who, who who's participates in the pre-tax pre or pre-bait 
which they now call a credit. You look on your tax bill, you'll see a, an amount of the tax bill, and then right underneath it, it has a credit. That credit is based on your income last year, and so you are only paying a certain percentage of your income last year against taxes. Um, the one, this is kind of like a, an item that everyone thinks, well, the state's just giving me funds, giving me money or something like that. There is a form over here that I've received from the state, and basically, if you look on it, you'll see that all the way to the right is what your tax bill would look like. Um, if I took a person at $200,000 house and they were assessed, they'd be paying $2,800. But if I look at that same person who is making $50,000, they're only gonna end up paying $1,400 this year. So it's one of the items that really needs to be looked at that you're not really paying as much as you think because when you get your tax bill, it's got a big number on there. You're paying only a percentage and in this case here, you're paying 2.61% of your income based on last year. That's what your credit is. And the difference between your tax bill and that income sensitive amount is the credit that will be received on certain people's taxes. Thank you. If there are, are no further questions for the school board, I'd just like a motion to adjourn. So moved. And a second? No. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Very good. And meetings adjourned. We'll begin the general town meeting at 7.30.